in this question we are required to find the value of n now the few things that you have to remember from laws of indices so if you have a to power m divided by a to power n that's same as a to power uh, m minus n so we shall apply that idea here but one thing you have to know is that 8 is the same as 2 to power 3 so we'll have 2 to power 3 over 2 to power 7 uh, and this should be equal to 2 to power n which implies that now by applying these laws of indices here we can be able to find to simplify this so we'll end up with 2 to power 3 minus 7 will be equal to 2 to power n so that implies that 2 to power um, negative 4 will be equal to 2 to power n so by inspection n will be equal to negative 4 okay so the next question um, again just applying laws of indices two laws of indices here one is that a to power m to power n will be equal to a to power m multiplied by n and then we also have um, a to power m um, multiplied by a to power n will be equal to a to power m plus n so we shall apply this laws of indices in solving this problem so here we'll end up with 13 to the power negative 6 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 13 to the power 5 is equal to 13 to the power k now we can simplify that so 13 to the power negative uh, 24 multiplied by 13 to the power 5 is equal to 13 to the power k now here we can add by applying this law here so 13 to the power negative 24 um, so negative 24 plus 5 will be equal to 13 to the power k so if you add that it implies that so um, 13 to the power negative 19 will be equal to 13 to the power k so k will just be negative 19 okay next question again just applying laws of indices that i've already explained uh, in the previous question this will be equal to e to power 8 plus 7 should be e to power 15. Um, next question we can just apply again laws of indices i'll work out the numbers first so 13 12 divided by 3 that will be 4 and then you'll have g to power 10 minus 2 so that will be 4 g to power 8 and that's it um, anything to the power of 0 is 1 so that will just be equal to 1 um, and then the next question everything to the power of 3 so uh, one way of solving this question is just by writing everything to the power of 2 over 3 so 2 over 3 x to the power 6 to the power of 2 over 3. Now I want to write this as a power of 3. That's one strategy. Another thing is you can just plug it in your calculator. Well, this will be equal to 3 to the power 3 to the power of 2 over 3. And um, again here we have x to the power 6 to the power of 2 over 3. And then we now multiply the powers. So 3 to the power 3 multiplied by 2 over 3 x to the power 6 multiplied by 2 over 3 all right so two thirds of 3 will just be 2 so 3 to the power 2 two thirds of um, 6 will be 2 so x to the power 2 and then you simplify that so that will be 9 x squared and that will be um, oh, this is actually 4 my apologies uh, uh, two thirds of six is four so that will be four and that will be your yeah, required solution okay um next question number 17 uh again just applying laws of indices that i already explained so this will be equal to two to power three plus four which will be 2 to the power 7 
and then this one here um, basically what you need to do is uh, write uh, to eight as a product of its as a product of its prime factors so you have 280 divided by 2 140 divided by 2 70 divided by 2 35 divided by uh, 5 7 and these are the prime factors so which implies that 280 will be equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by uh, 5 multiplied by 7 which will be equal to 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7 and now if you compare this with that you can clearly see that and will be equal to 3.